Welcome to another blog tech tips. Today I'm looking at the Jayaki M8. Now I'm looking at an issue right here where I've encountered or seen recently where without you even doing anything that you pick up um, the ghost push Trojan or some people call it a sexy virus because um, they add all sorts of um, shortcuts on your um, home screen. And for example, the phone start behaving weirdly. Um, right out of the box I've realized that this version, the Jayaki M8 is infected with that particular malware. So somehow the manufacturers somehow flash the um, the Android onto this device and it had in a malware. So therefore a lot of you are probably um, watching this just because you are infected with that particular malware. Now this malware is very hard to remove because it has rooted itself in the system. Resetting the device will not work. So if you're trying that, don't waste your time. Can't be um, removed that way. Um, the ways the device will um, behave is that you'll see a lot of shortcut stuff will start downloading automatically whether or not you're online. It will get worse if you're online. The device might get so bad and so slow that you can't even use it. Right? I have different videos on that and different ways to deal with it. So I'm going to use today a 100% method to totally get rid of this um, virus. So what we're going to do is we're going to flash this particular device. So I'm going to download two files which is the um, flashing tool and the firmware for this particular um, version. Now if you don't have this particular device you can still follow all you need is the same tool and just your firmware for your device. I'll put all of these in the description. All links will be on screen and in the description or you can go over to the website where I'll give you all the files that you'll need to actually perform the flash. So I'm going to show you today how to flash this to get rid of this particular device or if you just want to learn how to flash this particular device this tutorial will help you as well. Okay guys, so let's begin. Okay guys, so here are the files that you'll need. First of all, we have the Jayaki M8. That's the firmware file. That's right here. I've already extracted it. So the folder is right here. All right. Also right here I have the, um, the flash tool. And this is version 5.1548. All right. Um, inside of that version, I have everything. I have the drivers to help with um, detecting your phone. I also have some other files here. Now, what I'm going to want is I'm going to launch this tool, right, and then I'm going to select the flash tool.exe, then I'm going to load something called a scatter file it's one of the, in one of these folders, and that scatter file will t um, populate the, the program with everything that um, we need to actually flash the phone, all right, and just in case I'm going to install drivers, so I'm just going to just do this step by step and I'll show you. Yeah, so let's begin the process. So the first thing you do is open the SP flash. Um, remember, you need to extract them first. So this is an un, um, extracted folder, right? So you're gonna open it up. You're gonna look for flash tool. That's a green icon right down here. All right. So I'm gonna launch it, and here's the tool itself. Now, of course, um, let's give me a second here. Okay. So. Once you're here, the first thing you're going to do next is you're not going to trouble anything up there. You're going to select scatter here. So you need to find the scatter file. All right. Now the scatter file um, is going to be inside of this folder. Um, you can search, but I advise me if it's showing you a folder like this. Um, make sure you come back around and find the, um, the correct folder. So just browse back to where you have the folder. So in my case, I have it on my desktop. It's called new folder. All right. And once you're at the root of the folder, all right, then you're gonna search up here. So in my case, it, the file is called MT6572. So there you go. And notice it says MT6572 Android Scatter. And you're gonna open. And you see it says processing. Now what it has done now, it's uh, populated the list with all of the files that it needs. It knows everything based on the scatter file. So scatter file tells it all of the files that it needs. All right, um, if you had not done it before, Make sure that you um, show you here. Make sure you come to the drivers folder and install the MTK drivers. That's the USB drivers. Um, in my case, try to find the, um, the closest one to your version of Windows. So, um, in case this will be Windows 8, just install and then reboot. All right. So let's go back to the um, the app. So here we go. Now the next phase, and just listen what you're gonna do. You're gonna make sure that you set this um, to download only, right? And the next phase is to connect the phone via USB. Now you're gonna take out the battery out of the phone, right? 
and I'm just gonna show you. So as I'm doing it, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So that's the first phase, no time for the last phase, just before the flashing. Guys, okay, so here's the JRK M8. So as you can see, it's it. This is the phone, all right? So if the phone is on, um, the first thing I want to do is just power it off. So I'm gonna turn it off, sorry. Yeah, it's gonna power off the phone. And just allow it to completely power down. Alright, so once it's off, you're going to open the box and you're going to um, remove the battery. I'm just going to give it a few seconds out and this is to make sure that it's off. Alright, and we're going to put it in in a second. We're not going to actually um, turn on the phone. Alright, as you can see here, I have my um, USB connection. Here's my computer over here. Alright, so it's connected to my computer and all we're going to do is just connect it. Alright. But first, before we connect it, we're going to actually um, slide in back the battery now. And as you see, I didn't power on the phone, so the phone is still off, so I just removed the battery. Alright? I'm going to have the USB ready. And as we switch over to the computer, just look on the computer now. Alright, All right, so as you can see over here, I'm going to hit download. And then what I'm going to do is, if you look over here, Alright, so if you look over here, as soon as I hit download, what I'm going to do is connect the USB. Now, it should work flawlessly as long as the drivers and so on is working fine. As I said, the phone is on, off. Alright, so let's watch as I do the process. Alright, so I'm going to hit download. Over here. And then instantly over here, I'm just going to connect the, um, connect the USB. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's connected and you can see the progress bar, as you see it's flashing. Just remember if you get any errors, make sure if it says something about mismatch, might be an issue where the, um, you have selected the wrong firmware. I'll include my firmware that I've used and also the entire JRK M8 firmware. Also if you're watching this and you have another device, you can also um, find your firmware on the site you just need to sign up for a free account and you can download um, your file all right i might just pause this because this video might take a little um, time and should come back when it's finished you can see we're at 57 percent all right guys so as you can see here um it's now complete and it says download okay all right now that should indicate that the device is flashed um you look over here for a second no as you can see, the phone will not power on or anything. Make sure that you're using a reliable cable. Make sure it's connected to the back of the PC. That's the best connection. All right. So now that it says um, complete, I'm going to, and OK, I'm just going to close this. All right. I'm going to disconnect this from the computer. All right. I'm just going to power on the phone. Alright guys, after the first flashing, what's going to happen is that you're going to see or you're going to realize that um, when you try to boot up the phone, what's going to happen is that the phone, you're going to hear sound, you're not going to see anything on screen, you're going to see some lines running up and down. Now don't panic. Now that's normal. Because what we're actually doing here is that there's no official firmware for the um, for the particular um that we have. So what happens is that we have to load on... Um, the inside of the M8 we have to do a G8 firmware that's closely matching but it's not totally matching so now we have to correct the problem that we have just um, done so now that you have flashed on the first firmware and you have powered up I want you to power off the phone again and remove the battery alright so once you remove the battery from the phone what we're gonna actually do next is and I'm gonna put all the downloads all the files in the download um, section so you can go over to that website, you have to sign up for each website there and um, get the links, alright? So we're going to get the second set of files, and those second set of files basically are going to basically um, fix the problem with the lines that you're seeing on the screen. So we're going to flash again, alright? So, um, so just watch what I'm doing. Alright, so first of all, first thing you do is you're going to um, 
download the second set of flash files. There are going to be four files, all right? And I've extracted them here. There's a password for this file. It's on the website. So you're going to take these four files. Now, these are originally from the original phone, all right? So we're going to need those. So we're going to go back to the tool. You're going to rerun it for a second time. Now that the problem, the phone should be off. And what you're going to actually do here is that you're going to deselect everything. So you're going to deselect that. You're going to left these four. One, two, three, four. You're going to uncheck this, uncheck this, and uncheck that. All right? Now that you have actually deselected all four of these, we're going to change the location. So what this other file I've done was to identify the files, the normal flash files for the G8, right? We're going to find what the original files to actually make the um, phone go. So I'm going to replace this one. So you have to go back to your desktop. And remember, I need the folder um, second file or something like that. I think it's second. Let me come in here. So it's second flash yeah that's second flash that's my personal name so i open it here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna select back each file so you know this is the ik file and i have open and what's happening here is that i've changed the ik file all right now if you can if i can maximize if you look at the pathway for the ik file notice it's not saying desktop mbjrk it's now saying desktop second flash right and what's going to happen is that you're going to do the same for every file here, one at a time. And I'm going to show you each one of them. So you're going to do it for all four. So you're going to start from the eye. Next, you're going to do the boot. I'm going to show you how to do the boot. The boot. So you're going to desktop. You go to second. Right? And that file name is our boot. So you're going to select boot. You're going to open. All right? Notice the part we're showing now. Boot. Recover. And do the same again. Desktop. Second. And that's a boot. This boot. Sorry, that was recovered. I made a mistake. So it should be recovered. Alright, so notice now it says recover matches. And then I'm going to do the last one now, which is logo again. Go to second. Second flash. I'm going to go to original files. Cool. And then you're going to actually um, do. Which one? Open up. Then we're going to select, sorry, logo. So you notice I've selected logo. Now, now that I've selected um, logo, what's going to happen here is that I'm going to come back up here again and I'm going to change the download only to firmware upgrade. Notice that everything is now reselected. All right? Now that everything is reselected, I wanted to notice the file. Now I didn't change this first one. It still says desktop ME and JRK and preloader. And but notice here it says for these four that we had left out, it still says the new pathway. So what we have done is to select the original files for the phone. Alright? So what we're gonna do next is we're going to hit download. And then what's gonna happen is that if you look over here. It's gonna pull the I'm not gonna do it right now, it's already done. I'm gonna pull the battery, I'm gonna connect the um the USB, then I'm gonna put in back the battery. As soon as I put in back the battery, it should start up and then it should load. It will then run through the, the process. Once it runs through the process, it will finish the process of flashing. And once it does that, you come back over, you'll notice that the phone come will um come back up again and it will look like this. Alright. But it is. I'm going to show you in the firmware now that despite it looks like it, it's not it. Alright. I'm going to go down to about. And notice it says G8 instead of M8. And it's running Android 5.1. Alright. Now. Alright guys. So that's has been how to actually get rid of the um, the embedded virus in your firmware. If you have this device, if you got it out of the box and it had that virus. Alright guys. Recorded from Black Tips. Saying goodbye.